If we ask every single one of you in the room who has arthritis, or all our members, is, is, there, is there one thing we can do for you? Every single one of you will say, can you find me a cure, please? When I first talked to the guest speaker tonight, Professor Jerry Wilson, um, I told him about our, our, our dreams and our aspirations, uh, and that was to create an institute of rheumatology in Ireland, funded by Arthritis Ireland, that would hopefully one day find a cure, um, and certainly in the meantime, allow us and help us to understand arthritis a lot more. But of course, typically Jerry turned around and says, well, I've got a better, a better uh, dream and a goal, and that is to, to put Dublin on the map as a centre of excellence in rheumatology in Europe. 20 years ago when I started doing, 25 years ago doing rheumatology, we had lots of drugs. We didn't know how they worked. We still didn't know how they worked. Gold and distamine. The gold's a good drug, but we really don't have really any idea how, how it works. And we, because of really good science, very top uh, cutting edge science, we've been able to work out the actual key molecular drivers um, that cause inflammation in joints. It's different in its severity and that is really key. And what we really um, would like to do, be able to do would be to predict when patients present um, and Wor it's work out who is going to go along the very aggressive route. Because clearly if we, we knew that, uh, we might then intervene with anti-TNF agents. Now the thing about genetics is it's, it's easy, they're easy to measure. The genetic things don't change. You're born with your genetics essentially. And the, we now know that about 60 to 70 percent of the, the variability in that, all those dots that I showed you a while ago, is genetically encoded. So the major thing that drives the differences in the x-ray score, the total amount of x-ray damage, is um, are actually genes. And so um, we're now trying a group of us to um, comprehensively uh, map the genes that are causing more severe x-ray damage. Because we could use that information at time zero when patients present with rheumatoid arthritis to predict who will get severe disease. And if we can predict who will get severe disease, then we can try to switch it off with anti-TNF agents at time zero. We essentially, what we did in medicine over the, la you know, over the years is to lump everyone together, okay? And just uh, as a disease, okay? As a, a condition, as rheumatoid arthritis or ischemic heart disease or diabetes or blood pressure. And what we do these days is we actually try and split it apart because we realise there are different, completely different mechanisms that underlie the causes of that. And you can think about blood pressure. You, you can get blood pressure from a whole lot of different causes, from kidney disease, from family history, from poor diet, no exercise. Lots of things can feed into that. It gives you the final thing, which is blood pressure, but the way you get to that may be completely different. And so what we're doing now is to split things apart. And in that way, I think we might get to more potentially um, to cures, but I think it will be different cures for different patients. Well, I'm, I'm really excited. I really enjoyed the talk. I didn't feel I needed to ask any questions because I felt it gave us a fabulous overview of everything. And I suppose I'm excited and I have hope that, you know, if any other further generations in my own family develop rheumatoid arthritis like I have and my mother has and my brother has, then I know that the, the future is a lot brighter. So it was a fabulous event. Well, I think it's probably the most significant uh, development in the last 30 years because uh, as a, as a full-time chair in rheumatology, it's the first in any university in Ireland, so it's going to improve undergraduate education. Hopefully our students will know more about arthritis. Uh, hopefully our postgraduates will know more, and so our GPs will be better educated in rheumatology. And the, the point is that that will have a knock-on effect by improving services both at primary level and at secondary level for patients uh, who suffer from arthritis. Uh, like it's great when somebody new comes out and especially a young person coming in because you know um, there was an old way of treating arthritis and the new way and the new, all the new medications and that they are actually very very effective and they're halting, they're slowing down the progression of the disease and also you know stopping people 
you know, it's, it's enabling people to stay in work, stay in jobs and live as normal a life as possible. I hope over the, over the long term or the medium to long term that ultimately our investment will help make more discoveries um, and ultimately a cure. I mean, that's what we're looking for and, and already rheumatologists are using the word cure.